Here we are doing graphing a rational function with more than one vertical asymptote. So you do have to plot all of your asymptotes, get all of your intercepts, and then one point in each side of the vertical, on each piece of each, no, I'm not saying that right. One point in each, on each side of each vertical asymptote. I'll explain what I mean when we get to it. And then hit the graph button, and it'll drop for you, okay? So first for asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, I have to set the denominator equal to zero. So x plus seven, x minus five. Oh no, wrong numbers. I need three and five. So five would have to be positive, three would have to be negative to give me a positive two and a negative 15. Then if I set each one of those equal to zero, I get three and negative five. So in the graph, I have one, two, three, um, three is going to be a vertical asymptote here, and then negative five is going to be a vertical asymptote there. And then the horizontal asymptote, the degree of the numerator is one, the degree of the denominator is two, which means I already, I automatically have an asymptote at y equals zero. And then now intercepts. So for my x-intercepts, you take the numerator and equal it to zero. And that means that one, two, three, I have an x-intercept. And then you do the y-intercept by plugging in zero. So I get 15 over negative 15, which is negative one. So that's here. And then I need to plot two points on each side of the vertical asymptote. So when I make my chart, this is at negative five, which means I need to use negative six and I need to use negative four. And then over here, I need this is three, so I need to use two and I need to use four, okay? And each one of these numbers is going to get plugged into your function. So negative six stores x, and then fraction five x plus 15 over x squared plus two x um, minus 15. So I'm using this x button when every time I hit x. And I get negative five thirds. What is that in a decimal? Negative 1.7. In your computer, you will type the graph button. The, you will actually enter negative 5 thirds. You'll enter this as a point. But for me, when I'm drawing it on the paper, I'm gonna mark it there. Then negative four stores x, oops. And then go plug it in. I get 5 sevenths, which is 0.7. So you do have to use that plot um, a point and use the fractions. Don't put the decimals because it will not let you do that, okay? It'll keep telling you you're wrong. So make sure you're using the exact answers in the computer and the computer will draw the dots for you. You don't even have to worry about converting them so that you can eyeball them. I do them because I'm graphing it on paper, right? So you would type this in the computer and it would plot the point here. You would type this point in the computer and it would type, it would put the point here. Then you would type this point in the calculator and it would plug in this point here and then 4 and 3.9 would be about there. So then when you hit the graphing button it's gonna draw this it's going to draw this, and then it's going to draw this for you. As long as you put all the points in there, it'll draw it all out for you. So let's do another one, okay? This one, actually that one I think had a hole. It did have a hole. 
because watch what happens when I grab this or when I factor it. I get 5x plus 3 over x plus 5x minus 3. Oh no, nothing cancels because this is x plus 3 and that's x minus 3. So nothing canceled, so it couldn't reduce. So I was okay in graphing this and getting this graph. So everything is good on that one. But on this one I recognized it, which is what made me double check that one, that I can factor this 18 would be 6 and 3 but nothing is going to cancel I was thinking that I was going to have an x plus 9 at the bottom and it was going to cancel but it turns out no nothing cancels so you don't have to worry about that it's good to have the factored version though um, so when I set my denominator equal to 0 I'm going to get x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 3 for my vertical asymptotes for my x-intercepts, I'm going to take the numerator equal to 0. And when that guy equals 0, I get 0. When this guy equals 0, I get negative 9. The horizontal asymptotes, these have the same degree. So the horizontal asymptote is going to be at this coefficient over this coefficient, which is just 1. And then the y-intercept is going to be where I plug in 0. So 0 squared plus 9 times 0 over 0 squared plus 9 times 0 plus 18. I get 0 over 18, which is 0. So then I'm going to make a chart eventually, but we don't know what to plug in there yet, just yet. So let's graph what we've got so far. So far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have a vertical asymptote there. And we have 1 at negative 3. And then we have x-intercepts of 0 and negative 9. Okay, and then we have a horizontal asymptote at 1. And we have a y-intercept at 0, which is the same as the x-intercept at 0. Then now we need two points on each side of these asymptotes. So this is negative 6 and negative 7 and negative 5. That's negative 3, so I need negative 4 and negative 2. And I'm going to plug them into this original. So, And you can do it the factored version or the other version. It doesn't matter. So negative 7 stores x, fraction, x, parentheses, x plus 9, and parentheses, x plus 6, x plus 3. And I get negative 7 halves which is negative 3.5 for me. Here I get 10. Here I get 10. Here I get negative 7 halves, which is negative 3.5. So, Let's see, negative 7 and negative 3.5 would be about here. Negative 5 and 10 would be way up here somewhere. Negative 4 and 10 would be way up there somewhere. And negative 2 and negative 3.5 would be here. So when you click on the graphing button, it's going to draw this there. It's going to draw this here. And it will even draw like a little weird parabola up there for you, okay? All you need is the vertical asymptotes, the horizontal asymptotes, or oblique if there's an oblique one, your y-intercept, your x-intercept, and then two points on this side, and then two points around that one. And you'll have everything you need to click the graph button, and it'll graph it for you.